Hello, I, I'm Doris Jones. I'm on the faculty of, at the American University in Cairo, where I teach rhetoric and composition. I've been with AUC for the past 12 years, and my pedagogy primarily extends quite extensively in cross-cultural communication. I enjoy my students tremendously. More than 90% of our student population consists of Egyptian students. However, we do have students from all over the world, um, many parts of the Gulf, from Saudi Arabia, from Lebanon. We have students from Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, other parts of North Africa. And we have a wonderful student body of undergraduate students and graduate students. We have more than 5,000 students who are undergraduates and are just a little over 1,200 graduate students. So it's a wonderful population. Um, again, I've been with AUC for 12 years. And what I must say I enjoy tremendously is the cross-cultural communication that I have developed, the kinds of participatory dialogues that I have engaged with faculty from around the world. I've had some wonderful experiences experiences with faculty in Turkey. Um, we had a very, very nice two-year cross-cultural, multicultural uh, communication with Stanford University and their rhetoric and composition program. And uh, we also engage with students from Sweden. So we've had ongoing cross-cultural modes of communication. And I find that this kind of pedagogical engagement is not only good for students, but it's wonderful for faculty as well. And I find that our borders are becoming more and more porous, as I may have referenced in my personal statement or my teaching philosophy, that we're witnessing uh, in this century the mobilization of literally hundreds of millions of people, either for migratory purposes due to climate change or ongoing wars and instability. And never before have we actually witnessed so many people being displaced and misplaced. And so many of them are finding their way in Cairo and many throughout other parts of Egypt. And I think it's absolutely crucial that we begin to understand how we can better communicate with citizens from around the globe. Even though we've had cross-cultural or multicultural pedagogy for some time, things have changed. And what exactly has changed? I think this expediency with which we can communicate has certainly brought about a need to create a new mode or a new pedagogical mode to communicate with people, to offer opportunities to not only cross borders physically, but also to cross a psychological border that may often, and in many cases, are, are left without some kind of a connectivity. And I make an attempt with my students to see if I can broach these kinds of conversations. And I must say over the years, I have had some fascinating dialogues, again, not only within the classroom, but in my online communications as well. And there's just one line that I will read and I will conclude from my little statement that I made about global citizenship and crossing borders. As the world advances technologically at such an exponential pace, Somehow, countries and individuals become more politically, socially, and economically interconnected. What does that mean? We, as scholars, teachers, focus on political and legal structures that can help create and foster global citizenship. However, the role of the individual, that's us, we often neglect this particular aspect of our own teaching. And I think, again, that we spend inordinate amounts of time attempting to develop syllabi that's interesting for our students, but I think that interest must also resonate with something that we're witnessing as well. And that witnessing, I think, is going to bring about the kinds of connections and the interconnectivity that can allow us to communicate with anyone, anywhere, and at any time, thanks to the marvels of technology. Thank you.